What's up, guys? I'm Jackson. I'm David. This is Half Court Hangout. Yeah. I, I forgot the name for a second. Uh, yeah. Right, 30, oh, 30 wow. teams in 30 days. We're moving on to the home in the bubble, the Orlando Magic. Orlando Magic. This is a very stuck franchise. And I'm not sure why they're so, so stuck. I've always liked, even though I'm a Nets fan, I've always had a certain amount of respect for a lot of the Magic players. I'm mm. a really big Vucevic fan, big Aaron Gordon fan, Fournier. And they've kind of, you know, that's a team that they haven't really changed that much. And they, not, yeah. It's and just, it's interesting. You know, I say like five years ago, they were a very young team with potential and they haven't required, they haven't acquired any new assets, haven't shipped out anyone, and now this team is just stuck in getting old. And eventually, I think this is going to be, you know, they're going to eventually plummet. Like they've been steady from seven to nine seed, but I think in a few years they're going to really start to tank. Yeah, I mean, I I love Aaron Gordon as a player, but you know, I think we've seen mo probably the maximum for you know Fournier. Gordon and Vucevic I don't see how either of any of them are really going to improve too much uh, so I think the magic are I, I think they're really going to be in the next couple of years honestly one of the bottom seeds mm -hmm. unfortunately I mean like I said I like the magic I mean Mo Bamba as well just I, I don't really see a, a future with him as a center you know maybe he could have a role but you know, it, I'm not really sure about him yet. Neither am I, honestly. And, you know, there hasn't really been any person to take a lead in this offense. It's kind of been, like, everyone averaging 15 instead of a big superstar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, honestly, that it would be great if Vucevic really, you know, was, like, because he, he, yeah, he was an all-star this year, right? I'm not sure. I, I believe he was. Um, I think it would be good if he kind of, had the mindset of I am the superstar on this team and act that way because although he's got really good pieces around him you never see any teams that really succeed with just you know three or four really good pieces there has to be one you know shining piece and then you know things to back it up like well-crafted teams and I don't think this is a very well-crafted team right now I agree I think they're gonna need some youth on a team I, I say that for a lot of teams but it's true you need you need young players to develop and that's where potential comes in and they're not really that old but at the same time they're at the age that i think we've seen the peak or at least close to the peak of all three of their you know big names and as i say i don't see potential i'm gonna give them a, a d plus yeah you know opt optimistic i'm trying to be optimistic i'm gonna give them a c if they start to tank and get lucky and someone that they draft then I could see that being a way out. But they're going to have to make some moves, honestly. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. That's our take on the Orlando Magic. Or the fuck. That's our take on the Orla Orlando Magic. Do, do the outro. That's our take on the Orlando Magic. Uh, and that's it, guys. See you next time.